together on that, and we will do Hollywood Review next Wednesday, absolutely for sure. There's so much stuff coming out, and so many movies I want to talk about, so we will do that. Um, I think we need to take a trip to Florida, then. <laughs> I'm going to go to Disney and Universal. That would be top, you know, that's awesome. I was, I'm hoping... When Dakota gets a little older, I'll be taking her. So, yeah, I want to see the uh, gardens in Tampa, too, there. The tropical gardens, is that what it is? I can't remember now. My mind's like mush. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a, that, that is definitely going to be a destination of mine, for sure. You got to see Harry Potter and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Transformers. Oh, I love the Transformers. Absolutely. I could sit here and watch those movies. All. And, of course, Pirates. Um, anybody see the new Pirates movie? Dead, Man's Ch- uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Love Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. And that will be, that's the final movie in that series. But oh, I love the Pirate movies. He's just, oh, Jack Sparrow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, and The Mummy, of course, with uh, Tom Cruise. That looked pretty good. So, I'll get the reviews on that. I've heard good things, so we will talk about that. And anybody see Blood Drive tonight on Sci-Fi? Ah, fabulous, fabulous, freaking awesome. They really uh, push a line with these. But it was so cool. Who knew um, your car could run on blood? How cool is that? And that's how this car runs. It's got to have blood to run. Because uh, gas is so expensive. Makes sense to me. Uh, where do I know, though? Right? That makes sense to me. I don't know. So, um, we'll get into the movies and stuff next week. Just a few of the movies I've heard about. I do want to see Transformers The Dark Knight. That looks so totally awesome. Um, yeah, I'm a Transformer freak. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. <coughs> but that's okay, right? But I also love my horror. So, and we've got so many movies coming out um, late summer, fall that are going to be amazing. Um, I'm leaving an open mind about the uh, Gunslinger. He looks, the trailers, uh, I um, I know some people who have seen the trailers, have not read the books, and they're like, I need to see that because the uh, trailers were just so cool. Thank you, Valerie. That would be cool. Um, so, lots of uh, new movie. It'll be coming out. Um, hoping to see Stephen King maybe in Milwaukee in September. The new Christine, yes. So much coming out, unbelievable. Um, there's just just so much to talk about, so I'll get into more of that next week. We'll really get into the movies. Um, I want to do a little more research. We'll do a little people gossip, too. Like, um, who is that one reporter she did on the uh, Hollywood scene all the time? Rona Baird or something like that? I don't know. But uh, Saturday Night Live, who was that on there? Um, Gilda Radner did her. Rosanna, Rosanna, some, something or other. She did the news. Um, so we're going to do Hollywood Review and Gossip. Ooh, yeah. So much going on. How much of it is true? true? Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? Um... So, yeah, the new Christie. There, there's just oh, so many movies going on. I, I'm looking forward to a lot of them. I really am. I'm keeping an open mind. It, the trailers look fabulous. So I'm keeping an open mind on that, of course, you know. Uh, the original It will always be, you know, in my heart. There's no doubt. That was uh, one of the, the best movies. And, of course, Stand By Me. Absolutely love that movie. Um, I'm trying to think what else there. Yeah, the new Christine. I don't know, though. I don't know, though, about the new Christine. I have reservations. Of course, you know, in any remake, you have reservations. But we need to keep an open mind. Hopefully, uh, I'll be wrong. We'll be wrong. So, But the the only thing is, you know, they, they're going to use so much CGI, maybe. And when these movies were made, they didn't really use CGI. So that made them even cooler to me. I thought they were even cooler. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how these work out. So, lots going on. And, of course, um, Stephen Hidden's book tour will be coming out with Owen. 
Um, I'm hoping to see him with my daughter in Milwaukee in September. So, we shall see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we can... Uh, the tickets go so fast, it's not even funny half the time. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on. we got It coming out. we got Gunslinger coming out. The new Christine. Uh, we got new books coming out. Um, uh, by Anne Rice, Stephen King. Um, so, lots to talk about in the... You don't think you will, Craig? Oh, I'll keep an open mind. You you have to. It looks it, it the trailers look freaking fabulous. They really do. And I I Idris Elba is uh quite the actor. He really is a good actor. And he looks just so totally awesome in that movie. You need to give it a try, Chris. You need to give it a try. Uh, maybe wait till it comes out on DVD. There you go. Then you can give it a try, so you don't have to uh, pay for it. So you can get it from Redbox. There you go. So I'm going to see it because I've got to see it, just to see. And if I'm going to be doing these movies, I got to go see some of these movies, so I know what the hell I'm talking about. So you should keep an open mind. Um, Idris Elba is an awesome actor. I was surprised too, but Stephen King's happy with it. I know, I know, I know. But Stephen King was happy with the choice. So, you got to take that in heart. Well, I'll tell you about it then when I see it, okay? I I hope not, I hope not, I hope not. I think they're going to try and put a lot into that movie though. Um, I... I'm trying to keep an open mind. Yeah, I know they, you know, people in remakes. Excuse me, but Stephen King was happy with Idris Elba. So I, you know, you have to keep an open mind with some with some of this. So I don't know. You're going to see it. That looks. I think they both look really, really good. So I don't know. This is also true. <laughs> Good point. He also liked Under the Dome. Well, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Good point. Good point. I have to agree with you there. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. Um, did he like the the, the, the last season? I know he worked on the first and was okay with the second, but I don't know about the other ones. Ontario. Huh. Interesting. Thank you for the info on that. They're buried in Erie Street Cemetery. Look, Ontario Street. Hmm. Interesting. Very cool. Thank you for the info on that. Yeah, he also liked Under the Dome. I, I have to give you that for sure. <laughs> good point, good point, good point. So thank you for that um, info, Valerie. That's really cool. Very cool. So... Yeah, we'll keep an open mind on some of these movies. I, The Dark Knight uh, Transformers looks totally awesome. I wasn't real thrilled with the, the last one um, because of Mark Wahlberg. Not that Mark Wahlberg was uh, bad or anything, but it was just like, uh, where did you come from? Why are you in this movie now? I, there was just that unanswered question, what happened to Sam? And I think everybody was asking that. So, I, And I didn't get it answered, really, but... Not that Mark, Mark Wahlberg was bad in that movie at all, but, you know, of course my Bumblebee was in there in Optimus. I, I'm an Optimus Prime freak. I love Optimus Prime. So, we got that. But, yeah, I'm going to keep an open mind on, on some of these movies. Um, I probably wouldn't go on a Friday or Saturday night to see it. I'll go on a weekday because it's cheaper in the afternoon. Just so, you know, if I really hate it or am disappointed, I won't have, you know, spend a lot of money on it. Of course, and sneak my snacks in. Anyway, um, very cool. Very cool. We all, we're going to have lots to talk about, that's for sure. Um, next week, I'll be doing cults. Um, I'm excited about that one because they are so... Uh, there's uh, there were uh, the the cult movement so to speak back then so I'm I'm excited to be uh, doing that next week and two weeks from tonight we're going to be doing urban legends I'm going back 
to the Urban Legends. I promise you guys I would, and I will do that in two weeks. So next week is Cults, Hollywood Review, um, and the week after that we'll do um, um, Urban Legends again, a follow-up to Urban Legends and Hollywood Review. So I'll be talking about um, the Urban Legends. I'll be a follow-up on it from our areas, again, from the podcasters' areas, from where Chris is, uh, Stephen and I, Lisa, um, Lori. We'll talk more about uh, those areas here. Again, we went over some of them in Ohio, but I'll do some more. And um, if you know of Urban Legends in the area, let me know so I can get it in on the uh, podcast. So, And then um, the movie reviews, of course. There's so many movies coming every week. It's something. And, of course, I'm going to go take Dakota to see Despicable Me 3, The Minions. So I'll report on those also. Um, is there anyone else out there besides me who is like, where did they come up? Captain Underpants, really? I mean, could, this is, I don't, I, is it just me or is this something totally bizarre? Have you heard of that, guys? Captain Underpants. For kids? I, really, I, I think they could have come up with something. A little better. But what do I know? Again, what do I know? So, we'll see about that. I'm, um, no. New Cars movie will be coming out. Yes, Captain Underpants. I am not kidding. It is a movie. It's animated, of course, but it's a movie. And I, I saw that, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I'm sorry, but I think they could have come up with something better for kids. And Captain Underpants. Um, and again, we'll talk about that probably next week. But yes, I you've not seen the trailer for that. Yeah, of course, Minions. Yay. Go Minions. Yeah, money. I don't know from who, Valerie, because I, I, I sure wouldn't let my kid go see them. Captain Underpants, really? I don't know. Could be just me, I guess. I'm not sure. So... Oh, I love the Minions. Yeah, I'm going to take Dakota to see Despicable Me 3. I love the Minions. They're so cool. They crack me up. And um, so I'm going to take her to see that. So that's good. But I'm not taking her to see Captain Underpants. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. And, of course, the new Cars movie will be out. So we'll see about that. I I mean, that's like uh, when Trolls came out uh, last year. Trolls was awesome for her. Um, I took her to her. That was her first movie. She was four. And she loved it. So, and I, she loves the minions. So we're definitely going to see that. But the Captain Underpants, no, I don't think so. And if my child ever, uh, uh, or she ever asks me if she's, can I go see it? No, you're not going to go see Captain Underpants. It's not going to happen. I, I just shake my head at some of this. I really do because it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Exactly. The minions are yellow versions of the freaks. Pretty much, but the minions are cuter, I think. (laughs) For sure. Uh, Yeah, definitely. So that's some of the movies that are coming out, are out. So uh, we'll we'll see what we shall see with some of these. Interesting, interesting. So um, I'm going to... Oh, Give a rundown of the shows. Apparently, uh, today was supposed to be uh, Conspiracy Theory Friday with Aliens. I don't know what happened. Um, so, we'll start with tomorrow morning. Thursday, we got Rockin' with Lori. Uh, with Lori Wood. Yeah, and they're not... Yeah, the, the minions are not quite as insane as the freaks. So, we got Rockin' with Lori at 9 a.m. Check it out. It's uh, classical rock. It's an awesome podcast. Check it out if you can. 9 p.m. It's called Jazz. And I this is a good show. Um, usually I get home from work. It's still on. I'll put my headphones on. And I'll just listen and fall asleep. Because a lot of it is just very soothing. And I'm learning a lot about jazz. And that's with Cousin Dave. So check it out tomorrow night at 9. And it's, it's called Jazz. Very, very cool. I should be able to check it out more tomorrow. Friday morning at 8 
a.m. Eastern Time we have. Get your freak on with